How's it going there fellow junkies, Drew Junkie here, and in today's video I'm really excited. D-Hacker has, like I like to say, struck again and has given us Lollipop on our Droid Razor HD and Droid Razor M. It might even have some other variants that it will work on as well. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install it, just like I've got right here. Yes, very awesome. Yes, very awesome. And uh, we'll go through that little quick process and kind of a little Rio de Ram and we'll get this thing booting. Let's do it. So you want uh, Android 5.0 Lollipop on your Motorola Droid Razer HD or Razer M or any of those uh, Motorola devices that um, have this unlocked bootloader like we have here. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. It's going to be very, very cool. Um, like I said, I know this works on the M and the HD. Uh, this is from D-Hacker. This guy is awesome when it comes to this stuff. He's already got us an update. So let me show it to you. I've already got it installed. I'm going to go over a little bit of the ROM and then I'll show you how to install it. So. Basically, um, you can see we do have the Android L uh, set up. Here's a little message I got from one of the guys uh, messaged me on YouTube. And you can see, same old, same old. Everything so far that I've seen is functioning. Um, we'll go ahead and go into settings. And go to about phone. And here you can see it is the model Droid Razor HD. It is Android version 5.0. A lollipop very very cool that was the Easter egg and uh, it does have the Easter egg game in there too if you guys want to play that so you can see that is what we're running this is build CM Moto MSM 8965 user debug then it's got a Android version it's based on R um, LRX21Q very very cool basically he's calling this a CM12 which it is basically is what it is so very very nice um, like I said come back into settings doesn't really have root access in here yet in this ROM I'm sure you could flash it with the Super Su zip and get it but it isn't included in the ROM yet this is kind of a pre-build early release you can see I have a Google Now Launcher or Launcher 3 as options for launchers basic settings come back in here you got that animation you can see I did went ahead and sunk all of my apps with the NFC sync if you haven't seen that video it is very very cool that you can sync your device with NFC I actually synced the device this device when I started up to my S5 which isn't on Lollipop yet and it did work flawlessly so I'm pretty excited about that you can have the scrolling effect you can see it's pretty good. It was a little laggy at first, and it's it's actually smoothed up since I first installed it. So I'm pretty happy about that um, on this device. So you guys want to get this thing installed? Here you go. We're going to show you guys how to do it. So first things first. Let's see if I have a file browser in here. I don't know if I even do. Oh yeah, I do. So open up your file browser, and you're going to want to make sure you have these files on your device. So I went ahead and downloaded mine. To the device again this is going to be from D Hacker, so I'll give you links to where he has all the files so we're going to go into I don't remember if it's SD card one yeah it is and I downloaded mine into the CM11 folder but it's actually called right there you can see CM12 and then you are going to need the gaps for lollipop LP again all compiled by D Hacker love this guy so you're going to need those two files there is some CM stuff I had in there as well Besides that, you're going to have to have this device or the M with an unlocked bootloader and custom recovery installed. I have Torp Recovery. It needs to be a recovery that works on KitKat. And you need to be on KitKat firmware ahead of time because it uses its uh, kernel, I guess you could say, or bootloader maybe is what it is. So let's go ahead and power off the device. Power down. And we need to push some button combinations and try to get into Twerp Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project. That is the recovery that I am using. So let's let this thing finish powering down. I will say that uh, I'm really pumped for this and can't wait for some more builds of it. So to do this, I think on this device you basically hold volume up and down and power. 
And there you go, you do this menu. Now you scroll down to recovery and then you hit volume up. Scroll down, volume down, scroll up to select recovery. And that should boot you guys into recovery. Whether you have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed or like I said, Twerp Team Win Recovery Project, either one, this should get you in there. All right, so once recovery boots up like it did right here, again, Team Win Recovery Project. Um, first thing first is I'd go in here and I would do a backup, swipe across and back up all of your data and your system that you're on at the moment. Probably some kind of KitKat ROM or stock KitKat. You can see I actually have a restore right here of stock rooted 4.4.2. So I'm not too worried about doing a backup in at this point. Next, what you're gonna do is you gotta wipe data factory reset. So go to wipes, swipe across, and wipe data factory reset this device out. Again, not gonna do that in this step. I've already set it up, but that would be the next step. Next, you are gonna do, I'm gonna do this last step though. I'm gonna come in here to installs and I'm going to go ahead and click on the SIEM 12, make sure it's listed, it is, add a zip, click on the gaps lollipop right there, and swipe across to flash. So this is going to flash the CM12 ROM or Android lollipop ROM, and it's going to flash the lollipop Google applications, and once you're done, just basically reboot, and you'll be good to go. Uh, quick note, um, would recommend you know making sure you have at least 50% battery life before you start any of this process. I've got 98 right now, but you know by the time you make an Android backup and you install everything and you get it all booted up, you're going to want to have some decent battery life. You don't want this thing to kind of die in the middle of this process. All right, so the um, ROM went ahead and finished installing. And now we're moving on to the Google applications for Android 5.0, which also really shouldn't take too long to install here. All right, we're just cleaning up, and there it is. So we are done. You have Lollipop on your device. Yes, even before a lot of flagships get it, we're getting it because of great old D-Hack are helping us out. So from here, just go ahead and reboot system. There we go, hit that nice and easy. And your device is going to be boot up to basically CM12 slash Lollipop. I don't know if it's a truly official, I know actually I know it isn't official CM12, but um, I'm sure it's based on the source. And that's what we got here compiled by D-Hacker. Now, D-Hacker did make a note when he saw, I saw this on Twitter when he released this, that this device takes at least 10 minutes to boot the first time you do this. I would give this thing even more than 10 minutes. I would probably recommend giving it 15 minutes. Now, if it fails in 15 minutes, maybe you have an issue, get back into recovery and um, you know restore your backup, but give it a solid 15 minutes for first boot. It is now gonna be running on ART instead of Delvic runtime environment. And because of that, you're gonna have to have a lot more time to get this thing set up and running smoothly. So there you go, that's gonna be it. Like I said, once this thing boots fully, go ahead, turn it on, go through your setup, try that NFC syncing stuff, that's really, really cool. And that's gonna be it for me, guys. I hope you like this video here on the Droid Razor HD. Yes, I still keep these old devices and love doing videos on them if development happens for them. So there you go, hope you guys like it, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out. Yeah.